our first some of the highlights. Today, anxiety mounts following more COVID-19 deaths in Nigeria. NCDC joined global search for testing kits as it ramps up testing. And the United Kingdom flattens COVID-19 peak to continue with lockdown. Over the weekend, the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, says it is desperately looking for more extraction kits as it scales up testing for COVID-19. Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu in a tweet says they need the ribonucleic acid RNA kit, which is a critical component to identify and test for the presence of a virus. This request is coming as the NCDC hopes to work with donors, partners, the private sector to rapidly scale testing capacity to every state across the country. It is also a concern the Ministry of Health has raised following the global shortages of diagnostic kits and laboratory consumables. There is no doubt that these are unpredictable times as more cases of COVID-19 stare the nation in the face. As at today, the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 has risen to 1,273. Figures from the Nigeria Centre for Disease Control with the announcement of 91 new cases last night it also shows the death toll has increased to 40 and 239 persons have been discharged. A breakdown of the 91 cases showed that Lagos has 43, Kaduna and Gombe five cases each. The FCT, Bochi, Ondo, Oyo, Edo and River States have three. Uh, Oshun has two cases, Sokoto eight, Taraba six, uh, Kwaibon, Bayelsa, Eboni and Kebi states one case each. Now, the latest figures of the COVID-19 spread across the states, 32 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Of course, Lagos is leading the pack with a total of 731 cases, followed by the FCT and Kano, 141 and 77 cases. We also have Ogun and Gombe states, 35 cases each, Oshun 34, Ketsina and Bonu 30 each, Edo 25, Oyo 21, Kaduna 15, Bochi 14, and you also have the others and their figures. For weeks, Bayelsa State has recorded no case of the coronavirus, but all that has changed now as the state joined the list of states across Nigeria with the COVID-19. Our correspondent in Bayelsa State, Dobra Timewood, tells us more. After weeks of being coronavirus free and only observing partial closure of public places in Bayelsa State, residents of Bayelsa State woke up to the news that there's now an index case in Bayelsa. It's alleged that the index case is female and a civil servant. And samples from the index case was taken from the public wing of the Bielsa State Specialist Hospital. Now, to cop for the spread of the coronavirus, the state governor has directed an immediate closure of the Bielsa State Specialist Hospital. Now, from a people who were a bit more relaxed regarding the coronavirus, we noticed that public offices now have condor areas in front of their gates where they check the temperature of people before allowing them into the offices. Residents of the state have been reacting to the presence of an index case in the state and here's what they had to say. We as it's made that we have it now, we just have to be very, very careful with the way we move. You understand? If the curfew cannot help us, I think we should straighten the way, I mean, the way we walk and know who to, where to go and where not to go and be in our houses. With the recent development, we just need to keep to the rules and regulations, we need to buckle up, we need, just need to sanitize ourselves, keep social distance, and then stay safe. The governor of Bielsa State, Senator Doye Jiri, is expected to address Bielsa in the course of the day and possibly issue more directives to curb the spread of the coronavirus in Bielsa State. From Yenegua, Dobra Simiwood. A 30-bed capacity isolation centre at the Stella Bassinger Hospital in Benin City, Edo State, has been commissioned towards the treatment 
of the coronavirus. Chairman of the Technical Committee of the COVID-19 Task Force, Mr. Philip Shaibu, who led a tour of the facility, said the centre was completed within two weeks and is fully equipped with ventilators and other respiratory machines to handle COVID-19 cases. The new centre joins the list of isolation centres like the Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital, the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, General Hospital Aochi and the Stella Obasanjo Hospital. This facility was, is one of those facilities that the state government have contracted for, the, for expansion for uh, expansion in our isolation center in Stella Obasanjo. You are all aware that um, before now, even before the coronavirus was discovered, we had an isolation center behind this structure. It was meant for disease control, especially made, built for a, a Lassa fever. And we have similar structure that were enhanced at Era Specialist Hospital through facility donation and a structure like that too in Auchi General Hospital. At the advent of the coronavirus, we decided to expand to have more bed facility. We are preparing for the worst, like we have always said, but we pray that that worst doesn't come. But at the, by the grace of God, we are doing everything possible, and that is why we have uh, our, our target now is to continue to break the chain of the spread of this virus. And that is why we have enhanced and increased the capacity of our contact tracing team, and we have also in the state government has also spent money in having additional two testing uh, equipment for us to continue to test, which has been uh, internationally agreed as the way and the best way to cut in the spread and dealing with it and killing this virus uh, in a more sustainable manner. Now that is Edo State. But other states in Nigeria continue to work out measures to curbing the spread of the pandemic and also ease the hardships following the lockdown. Uh, the Adamawa state government has received a hospital structure to fight COVID-19 in the state. The presiding bishop of the upper churches worldwide, Bishop Peter Macanto, made the donation to be used as an isolation centre for coronavirus suspected cases. The state government, while commending the clergy for the philanthropic gesture, urge well-meaning individuals to assist the Adamawa State COVID-19 Containment Fund. And more contributions, this time the Northeast Development Commission donating two ambulances, medical consumables and other palliatives to Yobe State Government to fight coronavirus pandemic. Presenting the items, the representative of the managing director of the commission, Mr. Mohamed Jawa, says the gesture is to complement government in providing soccer to the less privileged in the state. Over in Bornu State, the government has commenced distribution of palliatives among the displaced population living in makeshift camps. It's also supported by the Northeast Development Commission and the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Food items consistent of grains, vegetable oil, among items distributed during the flag off in the Custom House IDP camp. The state governor, however, said poor people in the host community would also receive palliatives to help cushion the effect of the lockdown. And three more COVID-19 patients were discharged from the isolation facility at Ibom Specialist Hospital in Uyo after their status was confirmed negative by the NCDC. Two of the three discharged persons, a pharmacist and a doctor, walked out of the Ibom Specialist Clinic in company of the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Dominic Upong, and other colleagues present. Over in Anambra State, the government has commenced distribution of bags of rice worth about half a billion naira to youths in the 181 communities of the state to cushion the effect of the lockdown. Now, the distribution of 400 bags per community seeks to ensure that over 50% households in the state receive this palliatives. Let's join, uh, talk about this pandemic and how it's affecting Nigeria in the studio now on strategies to flattening the curve is Dr. Oyewale Fulusho, uh, Medical Officer of Health, Ikosi Sherry in Lagos State. Thank you for joining us at this Thank time. You, All right, tell us about your area and how you're managing some of the cases you're seeing. Okay. Thank you very much. I work at Ikosi Sherry LCDA 
which is under Koshofe local government. Presently, what we are doing is we are doing active case search in which we go into the facility, both private and public. We look at their record to see as many people in the last one month who had come down with history of fever, cough, difficulty breathing, and sore throat. Then from there, we follow them up. Also in the community also, we have some people called community volunteers who go from door to door to ask some questions about history of cough, breathlessness, shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, sore throat. And if there is anybody that is sick or has died from any related cause or a cause unknown on COVID. And from there, we take them up. If there is any need for them to be tested, their samples will be collected. And from there, we monitor and then we take care of them. So now let's look at the issue of testing. The NCDC DG had made a, I mean, tweet and several comments as to the RNA kit, saying it's a critical component to identify and test for the virus and how we're in short of it. Yes, like the RNA kit is a kit that, test kit, it's a kit that is used to detect the presence of the virus in anybody's body. But due to the present awareness of people, a lot of people even are subjecting themselves even to the test now. So it makes the kit to be scarce. And then, then there is another one antibody test kit, which is going to detect the presence of the virus in who have been cured and those even who are not showing symptoms concerning the diseases, but they have it within them. In terms of supply of where you're working, yeah. is there enough? Well, we don't have enough. The reason is that a lot of people are now coming up for the test. So, and day by day, the Lagos State Government with the Federal and the NCDC also are making sure how to get more and more to be imported into Nigeria and into the state so as to ensure a lot of people will be well covered at this period. So if you have someone coming up with some of the symptoms now of COVID-19 and goes to the hospital or goes to one of these collection centers, what do you tell them if you don't have enough kits? What we do is we collect their samples as there are a few that we have on ground, we collect their samples and we take them to the test center. But there are other people who come and if these uh, test kits are not available, we give them another appointment, maybe a day or a few hours appointment. They will come back, we will reschedule them and they will come for the test. But is there also any way you monitor, because if you know, you're still saying you're giving them an appointment, do you yes. monitor that they self-isolate? So how do you monitor and ensure that they're keeping yes. to the social distancing? Okay. There are two uh, teams that work daily in each local government. We have the mobile team. If there is anyone that is showing symptoms, the mobile team will quickly go to them to take the sample. So those mobile team are not exhausting their kids. They have more than enough. But those that are at designated point, they can exhaust their kit. But we will make sure if they are showing symptoms, we quickly isolate them in their place of residence. And we will now send the mobile team to them to go and take their samples. So while the government uh, thinks of ways of ramping up testing, Lagos is experiencing a larger number. Are you facing people who perhaps are not coming or are not willing to come out um, you know, for this test? Yes, there are some people, despite the campaign and even the update day by day, some people are not yet willing, but quite a few are willing to take the test. There are some toss line all around. People call every one of us day by day to book an appointment. And even now, the awareness is on the increase. Anybody that is having cough, fever, even breathlessness, without hesitating, they call themselves that, please, we want to come and have this test done. How can you be of help? And immediately, we ask where they are living, and we would now direct them to the designated size, testing site that is close to them. All right, one moment. Let's quickly go on a short break. More on the COVID-19 pandemic updates when we return. Welcome back. In continuation of the need to ensure mass safety and protection of the public against the spread of the deadly coronavirus, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, is taking uh, up itself to 
put in place an expedited registration pathway to allow the granting of emergency use authorization for the masks and personal protection equipment. And a press release signed by um, the media aide to NAFDAQ's DG explains that any setting that entails some level of risk in a work environment has a requirement for the use of uh, PPEs. He also added that face masks, protective clothing are some of the examples of PPEs worn by persons to create a barrier as this reduces the spread of infectious material in the hospital and the community. Members of the House of Representatives are expected to resume plenary on Tuesday in a circular by the Clerk of the House, Mr. Patrick Gowa. All members of the House of Representatives are to resume plenary session on Tuesday, April 28, 2020 at 10 a.m. Members are advised to take note of the new date of resumption and the COVID-19 guidelines approved by the federal government and the Nigeria Centre for Disease Control and additional guidelines developed by the House will be sent to members' pigeonholes for collection on resumption. Mr. Gewa also stated that staff and members' aides are to work from home and will be notified when needed in the office for any special assignment. The House had in March suspended plenary for two weeks in a bid to prevent the spread of COVID-19. It later extended the suspension due to the lockdown announced by the President in the Federal Capital Territory, Lagos and Ogun States. And we continue with our guest here in the studio, uh, Dr. Fulusho, Medical Officer of Health here in Lagos State. Um, Expatiates a bit more on the number of tests that we have, the number of test kits, the um, antibody testing, the RNA test kits and what some are calling the home test kits. Thank you very much. The RNA test kit, they are to detect the presence of the virus in the body. And also, it will help them also to dis discover or detect the antibodies against the virus. If there is anyone who had suffered from the virus with the antibody test kit, also it will enable them to be able to detect the virus in the body. And also, those people, so there are some people now that they do what they call home test kits. Scientifically, it's not proven. Some people just gather and they think if we can do this at home to test if we have the virus, then we'll be able to know or not. So, but scientifically, it's not proven. So we can't accept that. All right. We appreciate yeah. your time, Dr. Yes, Iwale Fulusho, Medical Officer of Health. Yes. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you. All right, now let's uh, go over to what's happening in the United Kingdom, Nigerian stranded there. Dr. Justice Jomona, a lecturer at Abia State University, uh, presenting a research study vacation in the University of Liverpool in the UK, joins us now. Uh, Justice, welcome to the program. We understand there are a number of Nigerians stranded in the UK waiting for weeks after completing all the requirements for the evacuation process. Tell us about that. Yeah, we, we have done everything that we need to do as required by the High Commission and um, as communicated to us through the Nigerian Diaspora Commission. We were we are told to do COVID-19 test, which cost us about 350 pounds, and we have done that. Now, the Foreign Affairs Minister, when he was asked about the situation, said that they needed more time um, to set things in motion here in Nigeria in preparation, but that the federal government hadn't asked anyone to pay any amount for the COVID-19 test. So who did you pay the sum to who requested for the £350? Of course, um, we have a letter to the Fed. We, we have a letter from the Nigerian Diaspora Commission and also from the High Commission here in London that communicated to us. Okay, so we, we have evidence that it was ordered that we should do that as a prerequisite for to be allowed to be bought or uh, to join the flight for evacuation. All right, Dr. Jomuna, um we also know that it would appear that maybe some can afford that, some might not be able to afford that, but will you be comfortable getting on a plane without knowing the status of, of others on the plane with you? Um, I, I didn't get that. You mean whether we are aware of our test results? 
would you be comfortable getting on, on a plane, not knowing the status of others on the plane with you? As I talked to you, about 190 Nigerians who are currently stranded in UK have almost been tested, and we all know the status of um, all the returnees. They, are, they have been tested. Some are tested in, in NHS, some are tested in Mobi Health, and um, we, we, as I tell you, 95% of, of the Nigerian nationals who are stranded here have tested um, negative. All right, Dr. Jomana, um, you said it's been a long wait. Paint a picture of what indeed yourself and other Nigerians there are, are going through, waiting to come home. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure that those who are here are mostly students, some of which are sponsored by, by federal government of Nigeria, some are travelers or transit foods, um, returning to case we are cancelled. In fact, as I talked to you, um, many of them are highly stranded out of accommodation, and we are trying our best to make sure we, we render as much as possible help to those who we can render and um, try to help those who are stranded as well. There are so many agencies and um, features of videos which we can send across to get that um, verified. Okay, just to quickly ask again, um, who exactly the, the monies go to? Who exactly, what accounts did you pay to? Uh, you mentioned the Diaspora C Commission and also the High Commission. So which of the two? No, 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 no. We did not pay for men. That must be frank. The only thing they did was that at, at first instance, they stranded um, returnees or citizens here in UK. We are asked to conduct tests from NHS, but NHS has proven that they cannot conduct any test to any Nigerian national who has no symptoms at all. So we, we reported back then that they said um, we should go to private hospitals, which their later example was given, which is Mobic Health Global. Okay, all the private um, hospitals that anyone can assess. So the money paid, which is the 350 pounds, with everyone who has evidence of the payment, will pay to private hospitals, except for those who has um, the uh, uh, who has the permission or who is qualified to be tested by NHS for free. All right. Well, we appreciate your time for the clarification and indeed wish you and all those Nigerians who are hoping that the government would be able to bring you back as quickly as possible. Thank you, Dr. Justice Jomona, lecturer at Abia State University, his um, undergoing research study, vacation in Liverpool, United Kingdom, where he's joined us from. And the NCDC says to remember face masks are to be worn in combination with social distancing, hand washing, cleaning of surfaces regularly with disinfectants. The website has all the information, statistics across states and you can also access emergency contacts if you need to. The World Health Organization's website has rolling updates on the pandemic, strategies, plans. Each moment it keeps updating, you can take a closer look at some of the numbers in real time. And that's our COVID-19 update at this time. Another update comes your way again at 6 p.m. Thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Stay safe.